afternoon, Governor Phil Scott held his weekly news conference where he highlighted the importance of public safety. Scott also out outlining what he would like to see come out of the legislature this session to improve Vermont's rising crime rates. NBC 5 Stephen Biddicks was there and has more. I've always believed public safety should be the top priority of every government. On Wednesday, Governor Phil Scott urging lawmakers to relook at policies passed in recent years that relate to crime because he believes they're not working as intended. Some have described my approach as tough on crime, but the alternative is being soft on crime. So I want to be clear. I'm not talking about going back to the approach of the 80s and 90s for some wild swing to the right. Scott highlighting the amount of repeat offenders the justice system sees, adding newer laws related to bail and conditions of release make it hard for law enforcement and the courts to hold people accountable. We had over 5,000 arrest warrants for failure to appear just last year. And over 12,000 of our 21,000 criminal dockets involve repeat offenders. Another one of those policies is raise the age, which is set to move 19 year olds that commit certain crimes to the juvenile system this summer. So to add any additional caseload to them right now is not something that we can support. We want to be able to do our jobs and do them well, and this would place an additional stress on the system that we just can't afford at this moment. The administration also acknowledging drug crime increase and say it's a frustrating game. There's a little bit of a whack-a-mole if we make a big operation that has an impact in a city, Springfield, Mass, or New York City, then there could be a slight disruption in the supply side coming from that location. Um, likewise, it will just pop to another city. And they say we need more laws to hold dealers accountable to close the pipeline and cut down on the drugs coming into the state. In Montpelier, Stephen Biddicks, NBC5 News.